What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko back at Alpha's house and you know what that means we're doing a deck profile. And in today's video, I actually wanna show off a deck that I think is actually really cool in today's format. It's post Age of Overlord, of course, and that is Zark. Zark got some really powerful support in this brand new set, and it becomes a very much of a mid-range deck. So unlike most Pendulum decks where they're really combo heavy, this is kind of mid-range now, which I think is really cool. And uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys a quick two card combo at the end of the video as well, so you guys can kind of see what this deck does, all right? So let's get right into it. First thing is first, we are starting off with three Supreme Gate Magician. Um, this is the brand new uh, Supreme King card. Uh, it's absolutely insane. It's a level seven, which is gonna be very relevant for different uh, synergies and different combos. But uh, this is really powerful. Uh, it's a special summon on itself. And then it also gets you into another gate, which is really powerful. We're playing two Lightworm. Now, Lightworm is also really powerful. So on normal summon or special summon, it adds back a gate from your face of extra deck. And then on top of that, if it's in your scale, uh, while you control a Zark, essentially, when your opponent summons a monster, it can summon itself from the scale. And then you can affect Quick Synchro, which is really powerful because it gives you access to a board breaker that uh, this deck has in the extra deck, which is absolutely insane. So being able to Quick Synchro with this is absolutely insane. Um, we're playing three Dark Worm as well as two uh, Gate King Zero. The reason you're playing the three Dark Worm is because this is your one card combo. It's, it's your main one card combo. You really want to see this at all times as a normal summon or as a foolish with foolish or dragon shrine because as long as you can get this on the board you can get all your combos started right so the nice thing about this deck is none of the combos actually need a normal summon so this can be your normal summon as well and the reason we're playing two of this is because we don't want one to just get like banished and then you're kind of stuck with without any so i do like playing the second one because it does come up especially in turns two or three it helps you push for otk later and then of course for some of the new support we're playing three wings of light Wings of Light essentially gets you to this guy. This guy is the main centerpiece of all your combos. You need to get to your uh, Supreme King Gate Magician because he's gonna be able to allow you to resolve one of the most important cards in the deck, which is Soul of the Supreme Celestial King. This card essentially sets up a lot of your combos. You're gonna be ending all of your combos on this card with this card set essentially, because that's what's gonna get you access to Zark. And then Zark is a board wipe when he's summoned, right? So this card is absolutely insane as well. So that's it for the Zark stuff here. Uh, of course, you guys can see it's pretty much all the new support is right here. And then of course you're playing the old package because it's just so, so powerful, right? So that's it for the Zark cards. And then um, to search even further and just give you more consistency, we're playing three Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. This card of course is really powerful getting you through your deck. It being a high skill can actually kind of be relevant as well, but. Um, that's pretty much all it's there for, is just to search cards. And then one of the Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. Um, technically, it could be any of the Odd Eyes. You could be the regular Odd Eyes. I feel like this card's gone up in price and you don't actually need to play this. The only reason you play this over the regular Odd Eyes is because it's a normal monster that you can send off Dragon Shrine, which kind of gets it out of your deck, which is really nice, right? But you can technically play the regular Odd Eyes because uh, the fusion card, the trap here. And so this is a fusion card, right? And how it works is you can banish from your extra deck, hand, deck, or graveyard the materials so technically if you're just playing the regular odd eyes and it's in your deck you can still resolve this even if you draw the regular odd eyes you can still resolve this right so no matter what you're still resolving it but this card you can just send it off dragon shrine which is really nice and it's a high scale so that's kind of why it's better than the regular odd eyes and then for more consistency of course we're playing three dragon shrine and one foolish burial this is just to get dark worm in the graveyard it's part of your combos as well because if you open up dragon shrine like just the most basic thing is like dragon shrine plus this or dark worm plus this like that's your combo right so Really, really powerful. Got to be playing three Dragon Shine, essentially a starter for you. And that's it for all the Pendulum, like the starters, the, the engine cards, because the rest of the deck, you guys are going to see, and this is why I'm saying it's mid-range, is you're playing a ton of hand traps. So you're playing three Ash, three Bell, three Crow, three Veiler, as well as uh, three Imperm. So tons of hand traps here. The reason you're playing so many hand traps is because this deck is a one to two card combo deck. Literally, like sometimes a single Dark Worm is a one card combo. So the really nice thing about this is that you can just play on one card combos and have all these hand traps as well. Now this deck does lose really hard to Bestials because of course you guys are gonna see that this is a Dark. You're playing Dark Worm, which is a Dark. So these to resolve is, is very, very important. And then if they're in your graveyard and you get bis-sealed on these, some of your combos can't really work. So that's why we're playing the bell. That, these are just the best hand traps, I think, this format. So that's why I like playing all of these. And then lastly, I'm playing two cross out and a called by the grave. Uh, this is because this deck also loses to a lot of hand traps. It loses to Ash. Uh, it doesn't lose so hard to Valor, but it does lose to DD Crow and the Bestials, like I said. So being able to cross out a DD Crow or cross out an Ash or a Valor and Imperm is really, really powerful, right? So that's why I like playing this package, kind of like a defensive package. And uh, this deck is so consistent on its own that you don't need actually a draw package like with Desires and stuff. Because uh, a lot of these, uh, you guys saw how small the engine is, right? 
You don't want to play Desires, banish half your engine, and then you have no grind game. Again, this is a mid-range deck. It's not like those super heavy combo decks where you just want to turn one combo and that's it, right? For the extra deck here, before I show you guys the side deck, for the extra deck, we're playing one of the brand new Otto Eyes Arc Ray Dragon. This card is really powerful, helps you OTK. Uh, one Zark, of course, because you're going to be summoning Zark. One Beyond the Pendulum, one Exceed. Uh, one Celine and one Apple. I think these are all the link monsters that you need to be playing. This card, of course, is really powerful. This card is actually pretty cool. It's brand new. I was considering playing a second beyond the Pendulum, but uh, I really like the Link 3. I think the Link 3 is pretty powerful here. And then Celine also helps you with some of your combos as well. Um, you're playing one of this. I'm going to call them Dimension Dragons because uh, the Dimension Dragons, of course, are really important. We're playing two of uh, the Odd Eyes Rebellion Ixies and then one of the Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon Overlord. This is your OTK package. So you're playing two of this. You need to banish one for the trap and then you need to play the second one because it's a level seven to make with your Supreme King Gate Magician, then you can make this to OTK, right? So it's another OTK package for you. Uh, one Odd Eyes Absolute as well as Vortex, of course, because it being level seven is really, really powerful or your um, main deck uh, Magician, I should say, because then you get access to this. One of the Fusion, uh, one of the Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing, and then one of the Synchro Dragon. Doesn't really matter which one this is. It's literally just Banish Water for your trap. So it could be Clear Wing, could be Crystal Wing, could be Crystal Clear Wing. As long as it says Synchro Dragon, as long as it says Fusion Dragon, as long as it says Ixies Dragon, and then as long as it says Pendulum Dragon, which is in the main deck, as long as it says Pendulum Dragon, that's all you need, right? So it technically could be any 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 variation of them. This is just the ones I'm deciding to play. Yeah, the extra deck's pretty tight. I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, you can't really play a lot of the extra deck cards because you need like four of them just to banish for your trap. So the extra deck is pretty tight. But moving on to the side deck here, we're playing three Lava Golem. Like I said earlier, the deck doesn't need a normal summon. Dark Worm is, I guess, your quote unquote only normal summon. Uh, but uh, Dark Worm, of course, you can always get to it with your Dragon Shine. So three Lava Golem when you're going second to break boards. Three Drone Lockbird. This is really good into decks where some of the other hand traps aren't that good. Especially Manadium is really powerful right now. So Drone Lockbird. Uh, we're playing one Harpies as well as two Lightning Storm. Just back row hate, more back row hate, of course. We're playing three evenly match. I hate trap decks and I just want to get rid of all the trap decks. So for that, we're playing all this back row hate. Then lastly, for the last three cards, we're playing one cross out, one nib, and one D barrier. This, if you get called on a pendulum with D barrier, you're just auto losing. Uh, so you need to be playing, if you're if you're going second and you know you're signing in to go second, playing the cross out designated with the D barrier is very important because you don't want to just auto lose to D barrier. Um, but then cross out also in the side deck and in the main deck is really powerful because you can side in cards like evenly match. You can side in cards like draw and lock if you're scared of draw and lock. This deck is not super, super scared of draw and lock, but um, you know, just more cross out targets, which is really nice. But again, side deck is always going to be up to personal preference, depending on what you guys' locals is like, right? If your locals are all back row, play more back row eight. More combo, play more combo eight. Right, so that's it for the deck and the side deck and the extra deck. That's it for all of it. I want to show you guys a quick combo. Like this is this could be literally your hand. Your hand could be like this, plus uh, this, plus uh, this. Right, and keep in mind, so it doesn't matter what the other three cards are. With these two, it's really nice because it can be a combination of these two. It can be a combination of Dark Worm plus your uh, Wings of Light. It can be a combination of this plus this. Like there's so many different combos that, because it's, this deck is so consistent, right? So any two card line essentially gets you to the same board, which is really nice. So let's just say we have three unknowns here and then two cards here, right? So if what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off by uh, activating your Dragon Shine. So you're gonna activate Dragon Shine, this is your hand. You're gonna send your Odd Eyes, which is over here. So let's say this is your graveyard. And send your odd eyes, and of course, because the normal monster, you can send another card. So you're gonna send your dark worm. Then you're gonna activate your dark worm effect. Special summon your dark worm, right? So this is on your side of the field now. I will actually put, for the sake of the video, here's your hand, okay? Just to make it a little bit easier to look at, right? So now you have your dark worm. You can activate your dark worm effect to search a, another Supreme Game King Gate card. So here you're gonna actually want to search your uh, second Gate King Magician, right? You can scale this. Activate its effect, uh, put it in the extra deck because you control the Supreme King monster and then it's going to be able to place another uh, gate in your pen zone, in your scale. So you're going to put your gate in King Zero. Then you're going to activate this effect from hand now because we activate the scale effect. We can actually activate the effect from hand, um, which says you can put a monster in your graveyard, uh, one of the Supreme King monsters. So you're going to send this guy and he's actually going to special summon himself onto your side of the field. Quick edit after the fact. Um, with this card over here, or with the Supreme King Gate Magician, I actually sent this from the extra deck. You actually have to send an Ixies monster. Uh, sorry, so it wouldn't be this one. You'd be sending this guy. That's why. You, that's literally why you play two of him. Uh, so I, I don't know why. I sent the wrong one, but you have to be playing this guy still because he's really good to make off of your Light Worm and Dark Worm as well. So you still play this guy. Uh, so you don't cut this guy, but you just send this from the extra deck instead. Okay? Yeah. Apologies. Back to the video. Right? Once he's special summoned, you can search. Here, what you're going to want to do, of course, 
is you're going to want to search your trap because your trap is one of the most important things that you're going to want to be ending on. So you're going to search soul of the Supreme King Celestial, uh, so Celestial King, I should say, right? Search the trap. Then what you're going to do is you're going to link these two off into your Beyond the Pendulum, of course. Now, um, this is kind of where some of the combo lines can differ, but now we can just activate the, the Beyond the Pendulum. First things first, to search your Light Worm, okay? So now you have uh, scale zero, scale eight. You can, of course, scale your eight here. And uh, now is where kind of things differ, right? So there's two ways to kind of make this end board. You can now pen summon. So you're gonna pen summon uh, Dark Worm and this if you wanted to. So this is the first way to do it, right? So you pen summon these two. When you pen summon these two, you're gonna actually pass your turn on the set. So you're gonna set this and you're gonna pass. Now this looks so meek, right? But that's why it's a mid-range deck. Like you're not ending on any negates, you're not ending on anything like that. But this is why this deck is really powerful because now when your opponent's turn comes around, what you can do is as soon as they commit two or three cards on the board, right? Let's say they commit three cards to the board. You can flip your uh, Soul of the Supreme King, banishing the Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum that we put in the graveyard earlier. You're gonna banish this. You're gonna banish a Synchro Dragon. You're gonna banish a Fusion Dragon. And you're gonna banish an Xyz Dragon to summon your Zark. Now, Zark on summon is actually gonna blow up your opponent's entire field, right? Because uh, this card is, the effects are not negated. So it's actually gonna board wipe your board, opponent's board, right? So you're board wiping with this. Now, because you control the Zark, let's say your opponent commits two or three more cards, let's say they commit two or three more monsters on the board, you can activate your uh, Light Worm effect, special summon it. Hey guys, editing Spanko here. I also wanna mention that when he is special summoned, you can actually add the Supreme King Gate Magician back to your hand because he was special summoned and that's part of his effect. So you're not only gonna quick synchro here, but you're gonna use his effect to add this back to your hand. So you're gonna have that follow up as well. And then effect to synchro these two into your Supreme King Clear Wing. And then this is also another board wipe. This is only for monsters. This clears everything on the board. This destroys all monsters your opponent controls. So here's two board wipes essentially. Oh, by the way, you have to tribute this. Um, I, I should have mentioned that earlier. For the soul, you actually have to tribute this. So this is off of your side of the field, okay? So now at this, at this point, you have two board wipes, but I wanna show you guys where the combo can kind of differ as well, because you can either do it where you have two board wipes or you can actually set up a negate. So how you're gonna set up the negate is we're gonna go backwards here. Uh, and instead of Pendulum summoning the Gate Magician and the Dark Worm, what you're gonna do is you do have that second uh, Gate Magician in uh, your extra deck, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pen summon both of these, right? So now once you pen summon both of these, you can actually put these on top of each other, create the Xyz network. Um, I think that's what it's called, right? The, the Xyz network, whatever it's called, to make Absolute. Then you can link the Absolute as well as your Beyond the Pendulum away into a Selene here, okay? So we're gonna summon Selene, and then Abs uh, Absolute Dragon is gonna be able to activate its effect to summon an Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, right? So now you have a negate. Now you can activate the Selene effect, of course, to summon back your Supreme King. This is gonna be on the board now, and you're gonna need this on the board. You're gonna be able to end your turn now, sorry, with the card here set. So it's the same exact board essentially, but instead of ending on two board, board wipes, you're ending on a single board wipe plus an Odd Eyes Vortex negate. So both ways you do this, no matter how you kind of want to combo, you guys are either ending on a negate plus a board wipe or two board wipes. And again, you still have three cards in your hand. On your follow-up, you're going to be able to add back your uh, monsters from the face of extra deck. So you have follow-up. Um, of course, when you're summoning Zark, Zark is 4,000 attack. You're going to always tr be trying to go for OTK after that. So essentially with this combo, what it does is you're really hoping, or how this deck kind of works, is you're really hoping to draw your combo and then three hand traps, right? And that's how you're pretty much winning every single game. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I know it was kind of longer, but I really wanted to show you the two different variations with the combos. I think it's really important that this deck is uh, not your typical pendulum deck where you're just comboing like crazy, setting up four, five, six negates. You're really taking it slow and just kind of out grinding your opponent. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you Alpha for uh, filming as always and letting me use your beautiful home. And with that, thank you. Peace.